Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Another day, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing when you're filming and someone's watching you. I feel like she's judging me right now. Okay, anyway, welcome to my channel guys. Another day, another vlog. So today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day. I literally did one of these videos like a few weeks ago, but some of you guys keep asking for them, so. I'm gonna keep on making them. This video is going to be a little bit different because usually when I film these videos, I show you guys what I'm eating during the week. So I'm gonna show you guys what I eat on a weekend. Weekday Lena and Weekend Lena are two different Lenas, okay? I don't count calories. I'm not really strict with my diet. I just try to eat healthy for the most part, but when I'm craving something or I want something, I eat it and I treat myself. I eat good, especially on the weekends. I'm letting loose. But yeah, we're starting this day off good. We're starting with some greens, but we gotta eat breakfast. For breakfast, I'm gonna have a bacon, egg, and cheese, but there's one slight problem. I've been procrastinating on grocery shopping this entire week, so I don't have like half the ingredients to make it. <laughs> so I guess we gotta go grocery shopping. I just got home and I'm about to open my door, but I wanted to quickly show you guys how Pika, my cat, greets me at the door every single time I come home. It is like the cutest thing. Pika! Pika! Hi! <laughs> Hello, mama! We got my beautiful flowers. I also stopped by Dunkin' Donuts. So this is actually the pumpkin iced coffee with oat milk. If you love pumpkin, you will love this drink. This thing is so good. I drink coffee pretty much every day and usually I'm very plain Jane. I just do regular coffee with like almond milk or something. But when it comes fall time, I need my pumpkin spice, okay? Mmm, so good. Let's make this bacon, egg, and cheese. little DIY bacon, egg, and cheese. She's kind of cute. This is like the most neat I've ever made her. There's usually stuff spilling out of the sides. And of course, the pumpkin iced coffee. She's really melted now, but. Black on black. These are actually the new sweat shorts from Gymshark, just launched. It is so comfy and I feel like it looks really flattering. This is my favorite flavor, mango oxy shred. Speaking of mango, this has been my latest obsession lately, sour strip. This is the tropical mango flavor. I probably shouldn't have this before I go for a run, but YOLO. Mm. Woo. Sour, but it's so good. Also, I wanna show you guys a song that's been on repeat.
while I'm waiting for that to heat up, I'm gonna have some jalapeno chips. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm so impatient. And so when food is cooking or warming up, I need to eat something while waiting or else I'm gonna go crazy. I got my lunch. This is shrimp biryani. Can you just see how delicious this looks? But yeah, before I dig into this, I want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor of the video, Cook Unity. So Cook Unity is actually the first chef to consumer platform and they deliver freshly prepared pre-made meals straight to your door weekly. The chefs cook with real ingredients, nothing artificial. They also provide dietary preferences, including vegan, paleo, and gluten-free. And their subscriptions are super flexible, so you can pause, skip weeks, or cancel anytime. And through their subscription, you're able to choose from a variety of ever-changing menu options options. Seriously, there's so much to choose from. I love that I got to handpick my meals. The last two meals I ate, I had like a chili shrimp bowl and shrimp pasta. Oh my gosh, guys. Chef's kiss. They were all so flavorful and delicious. Personally, Cook Unity has literally been a lifesaver. Those of you who know me, I am not the best cook, okay? But also, when I go grocery shopping, I notice that a lot of the food that I get goes to waste because I'm only one person and I can only eat so much. So it's been nice having these Cook Unity meals just on hand, ready to go. I just pop it in the oven and it's done. It's honestly been super nice. So if you guys are interested, you can go to cookunity.com slash lena or use my code lenalist50 to get 50% off your Cook Unity meals to try them for yourself. And huge thank you to Cook Unity for sponsoring this portion of today's video. kind of wrinkly, but whatever. So right now I'm headed to dinner with my boyfriend. We are getting one of my favorite things to eat, which is boil. And we're definitely gonna get some dessert after, so I'm excited. <laughs> Here at the boil. Oh my god. They even give you this bib. You know when a restaurant gives you a bib, you're gonna eat good. We're walking off this seafood boil. <laughs> my stomach right now. I gotta unbutton my pants. We're walking though to get some dessert. So guys, I am back home, as you can tell. And I got my popcorn with a sprinkle of truffle salt. I was craving something salty after that heavy dessert. I'm also gonna eat a banana with like a little bit of peanut butter because I just realized that I have not had a single fruit this entire day. So I feel like I should have a little fruit or something, you know, for the health. Banana and peanut butter has always been like my favorite snack. Before I go to bed, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit, have a little chit chat. I look so pink right now, hold on. All right, that's better. <laughs> so I'm guessing most of you who are watching are probably subscribed already. So the real ones on my channel watch every video. But if you happen to be new here, I kind of want to share a little bit about my, my whole past and transformation with food and fitness because it has been <laughs> quite a journey. Since it's been three years since I started my fitness journey, I learned so much and I've changed so much and especially my relationship with food has changed drastically. I want you to know that if you are struggling with your fitness journey or with body dysmorphia or with food, you are not alone. I used to struggle a lot with binge eating, starving myself, 
myself, crazy body dysmorphia, and just feeling overall really insecure. I would go days where I would try to starve myself and other days where I would just binge everything I see and all because I wanted to look a certain way. One thing I can tell you guys for sure is that I'm so much happier now than I ever was before because I don't stress so much about the food that I eat and the way that I look. The minute I stop nitpicking everything about my body, counting every single calorie and restricting myself, that is when I actually started seeing noticeable differences in my physique, but more importantly, my mental health. But I really want to emphasize that balance is so important. Eat healthy because it's good for you, but also eat what you want because that's also good for you. It's good for your mental health and your sanity. <laughs> you gotta enjoy your life and you're not gonna enjoy it if you're consistently restricting yourself and stressing about the way that you look. My mindset has changed so much from being like, I wanna be skinny, I can't eat that, I can't eat this, to seeing food as fuel and seeing food as something enjoyable and seeing working out as something fun and a stress reliever and be gracious to yourself because you are beautiful in the skin you're in. <sighs> but yeah, let me stop rambling. <laughs> okay, I hope that helps someone out there. If you actually stayed till the end of that, you're a real one because I'm kind of getting tired of hearing myself talk. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye guys. She's been watching me this entire time. <laughs> Good night.